Hello, uh, all of you. Welcome to another lesson on this uh, module of uh, crew resource management. And one of the physiological effects of uh, crew uh, uh, operations, etc., is accumulation of stress and fatigue, which is a very, very important factor, uh, which uh, sometimes we may not uh, realize it how important it is. So, uh, we are going to uh, learn about the stress and fatigue so that uh, the due importance is uh, realized by everyone in the system. Okay, uh, the definition of uh, stress. Stress is a normal physical response to events that make you feel threatened or upset your balance in some way. Uh, we all have experienced uh, stress in some way or other, but uh, uh, we are going to learn uh, 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 these things a little bit more formally. Okay, let's see the transactional model of uh, stress. Firstly, uh, there is a situation or an event which is uh, not normal or events could be even normal but there is a situation which a person is not used to in day-to-day -day life firstly there is a primary appraisal and uh, to see uh, if there is a threat uh, because of that situation or event if there is no threat then the person experiences no stress but if the threat is perceived, now the mind uh, uh, reassesses its ability to cope up with the threat, threat perceived. If it is able to cope up with the particular uh, situation, then it results in positive stress. And if it is not able to cope up, uh, then it results in uh, stress, which is what is, uh, uh, we call normal stress. Okay, uh, let's continue with our lesson. Uh, what are the symptoms of a person who has been uh, undergoing stress? Uh, cognitive uh, symptoms, that is logical uh, uh, forgetfulness and uh, forgets basic facts and uh, all, all that kind of, uh, you, can, you could make out. Uh, Physical stress is, of course, uh, he gets tired very fast and uh, uh, unable to uh, withstand uh, long, long duration work, etc. Emotional and behavior uh, factors, of course, we are uh, very familiar and we should be able to recognize them uh, easily. As uh, you will uh, see and I think uh, we have learned from my other video lessons also, luckily all types of stress are not bad for, uh, bad for health. Uh, there are some positive stresses which we call eustress and uh, negative uh, stress which is called distress which we will see uh, a little bit in detail. Also, uh, it's not as if all situations will affect all individuals uh, equally. It depends on the individual's capacity to withstand stress. And uh, what is stress for one person need not be st stress for the other person. He ca depending on his threshold, it could be used stress as well. What are those uh, factors? Heredity, disposition, disposition self-directedness, persistence, internal locus of control, purposeful procrastination, personal disposition, mindset and uh, person who enjoys new experiences and who is able to take uh, things positively. They are able to uh, withstand uh, situations much more easily and uh, any situation is useless uh, uh, situation for them. Uh, let's uh, discuss some more facets of uh, distress. Acute uh, distress. This is short-lived and intense. 
and uh, different individuals are able to cope up differently for such acute uh, short uh, intense uh, stress situations acute episodic it's a way of life and uh, uh, people find uh, uh, even day to day normal uh, situations very uh, stressful uh, chronic stress long lasting situations constant relational conflict and uh, being overwhelmed and of course there have been some uh, uh, incidents in his childhood or in the past which keeps uh, uh, taunting him back and uh, so they find that generally things are uh, stressful all the time let's discuss some factors affecting performance uh, of uh, stressful situations firstly physical uh, performance firstly the process of uh, uh, adaptation first of all what is a physical uh, stressful situation when you are flying sudden change in engine noise or su some sudden uh, happening or uh, 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 things like that so uh, there is a process of adaptation and uh, your uh, body is uh, stimulated to a high level of our uh, alertness and uh, if if the situation very acute or if if it is uh, very intense if it is very high then it leads to panic uh, situations at the same time mental uh, stressful situation uh, situations r reduced uh, vigilance and poor it results in poor judgment and uh, memory sometimes you are not able to uh, think logically and take decisions logically resulting in poor judgment we are in a hurry and we, we forget the need to uh, be steady we, we can often relate it to uh, emergent situations and uh, people doing very very obvious and silly mistakes uh, uh, this is what uh, is the attributing factor uh, if if you ask me so uh, that means uh, you have been affected by uh, stress and you are uh, you are losing your uh, ability to uh, judge uh, correctly however if you are aware of the situation then maybe you will be able to think slowly and then take correct uh, decision let's uh, discuss some more mental factors uh, that affect uh, uh, perform mental performance uh, lack of interest and tendency to cut corners unwilling to take decisions increase uh, risk taking uh, uh, by just uh, unmeaningfully taking cut co cutting corners and hurried actions and fixation on uh, single issues uh, he has been uh, somebody has pointed out uh, some higher up has pointed out and uh, so he keeps talking about it and uh, he uh, tries to pay over emphasis on uh, such issues uh, these all could be mental uh, symptoms of uh, uh, a, of a person having been uh, affected by stress uh, as multi crew uh, we all have a responsibility to recognize each other's uh, stress levels of course mild stress is uh, always there uh, without trying to overdo things and we should be able to intelligently recognize if each one of us uh, is under stress what are uh, such symptoms uh, return to old procedures use of non standard phraseology use of negative language confusion in locating items etc that means being disorganized uh, interpersonal conflicts constant interpersonal conflicts that is uh, 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 which is not normal uh, him his self aggression and uh, uh, withdrawal uh, withdrawal means not interested or uh, i i don't care kind of attitude uh, so these are the symptoms of uh, a person who, have, who has been affected by stress and uh, it's a good good way to remember and recognize each other's uh, stress levels Okay, uh, this is a famous graph. Some of you may have come across. 
and uh, on the x axis it shows the uh, level of uh, stress arousal that means starting from zero uh, how the stress level keeps increasing and the y axis shows the performance of the individual as you can see as the stress level uh, increases that uh, a little bit uh, tension in the person uh, increases and there is a uh, there is a uh, tendency for us to find some solutions and uh, 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 as we can see coping up uh, uh, tendencies and our ability to cope up comes into play so as we continue uh, uh, the stress stressful situations and we are able to cope up and we feel very encouraged and uh, we feel it's a kind of a feel good factor and we are in great comfort zone our performance actually increases that's what they say as your stress level increases to a certain level your performance actually increases because your ability to cope with cope up with stress is improving and so you are very encouraged and you are very happy with your own ability to cope up with stress so your performance also increases however at some point as i have shown in this orange uh, arrow where it has stopped where the graph has peaked that's the peak uh, stress level when it reaches peak stress level we we reach something called optimum performance level optimum performance level and uh, so far the body is able to uh, uh, is uh, trying to cope up with situation and uh, it is spending more energy and it is it is working a lot your uh, uh, systems are working to cope up with stress and it is achieving and uh, it goes on like that but if the stress stressful situation continues for some more time or if it uh, aggravates further then you are you are you are not able to cope up with this situations at all then you are encountering something called distress the body becomes exhausted your mind becomes exhausted you are you absolutely lost your ability to cope with stress and you uh, present so many other stress symptoms and uh, things like that so uh, these are the stages of stress combat or stress coping behavior you you could say so if you are aware of it then you are able to uh, meet up with stressful situations much better how to uh, uh, improve your stress tolerance level uh, first is support system family and friends it's for that reason uh, every pilot who, uh, every person who's constantly undergoing stressful situation in his work areas such as pilots their families also need to exhibit considerable understanding of the nature of work and the pressures which he may undergo and uh, secondly self control uh, comes out of self confidence and attitude positive attitudes help in improving stress strong tolerance level uh, uh, being try, uh, try to be philosophical uh, to a small extent and uh, being optimistic and uh, uh, hoping for the best all the time being jubilant all the time these are all uh, stress tolerating uh, uh, tolerance improving uh, mechanisms now uh, control over emotions uh, you have to constantly tell yourself to control your emotions of course the most important is knowledge and preparation if you are well read well aware if you are if you have been exposed to different uh, situations you are knowledgeable and uh, you have become wise over a period of time uh, and you prepare yourself well then your ability for stress tolerance is much better let me discuss some uh, stress myths as i told you stress is not same for everyone it is it affects differently to different people depending on his ability depending on his individuality 
stress is always bad no we just learned that up to a certain level uh, stress is good and it in some ways there there are several positive stresses in life stress is unavoidable uh, this is again a myth you, you if, if you are well prepared no situation is uh, stressful you just have to live with it not again necessary if you find yourself stress you can discuss it and try to find solutions for the same most popular strategies are the best ones again not necessary depending on the individuality maybe just taking a break itself could be uh, could relief uh, uh, could be a great relief for some people uh, if there are no symptoms no stress this is another big myth uh, people can be undergoing stress without projecting uh, any uh, uh, st- symptoms only major stress symptoms require attention no not at all yeah, uh, you can you could person continuously flying for the last 3 4 months slowly if you are developing uh, the beginning stages of stress you could well take a remedy and discuss it with your superior take a break or if you do so that, that's the point which we have tried to highlight here how does uh, how do air crew deal with uh, stressful situ- situations let's go go through them preparation anticipation uh, planning communication use of resources which we call crew resource management etc time management uh, if the airline enables such factors and the air crew themselves are aware of this and uh, uh, avoid uh, coming late and uh, you know trying to be more communicative all uh, such factors uh, such uh, measures will can reduce your, uh, your stress level much less Uh, so th- this is what each one of us should be aware and uh, try to keep uh, situations uh, beyond stress levels as much as possible okay let us uh, discuss uh, a much more important and much more uh, critical uh, aspect called the fatigue what is fatigue that state following a period uh, period of mental or bodily activity characterized by a lessened capacity or motivation for work and reduced efficiency of accomplishment usually accompanied by a feeling of weariness sleepiness irritability or loss of ambition may also supervain when from any cause uh, uh, any uh, energy expenditure outstrips restorative processes and may be confined to a single organ uh, of course this is just a, uh, a fatigue what if i were to explain to you prolonged situations of uh, stress uh, leads to a condition called fatigue and it's a slow process so uh, which is much more critical than stressful situations uh, which we need to be extremely cautious of so i we will spend some time discussing fatigue in this lesson again uh, uh, there could be two types uh, physical fatigue and uh, mental fatigue physical fatigue an individual is able to uh, perceive that means he is he is tired but he is not able to sleep he is he is unable to t- take on physical exercises he is unable to walk long distance as he would usually do and he gets tired very fast and uh, uh, he is unable to physically concentrate uh, as much as he would do in the past and things like that similarly mental fatigue he is not able to perform simple uh, mental uh, uh, tasks uh, which he would otherwise done would have done very easily now he finds it uh, complicated to perform those tasks etc so these are all the signs of physical and mental fatigue so i have tried to list out some physical symptoms of fatigue um, uh, stomach disorders aching or sore muscles painful lymph nodes a lack of motivation 
chronic tiredness, difficulty in concentrating, dizziness, hallucinations, hand to eye coordination may be impaired, frequent headaches, etc. These are the few uh, symptoms of uh, fatigue, not necessarily uh, be uh, limited to these. Now, uh, let me uh, discuss some uh, uh, mental uh, uh, fatigue uh, signs, impaired judgment, indecisiveness, irritability, moodiness, uh, uh, poorer in immune system function, short term memory impairment. There may be problems organizing thoughts and uh, finding the right words to say etc etc these are the symptoms of mental fatigue uh, which one needs to understand and recognize okay uh, though i have uh, called it as uh, treatment to uh, stress and fatigue i would call stress and fatigue coping uh, measures these are uh, should you feel we must feel free to take medication uh, take medical help that's what we uh, i mean uh, by this medication uh, regulated sleep don't miss your uh, sleep and uh, regulated diet of course is very very important uh, exercise and uh, taking up to yoga and uh, taking too little bit of philosophy is also will go a long way to keep our mental uh, ability to cope with uh, stress and fatigue uh, in a much uh, better uh, way. Mm, uh, so, uh, these are some of the coping uh, mechanisms to deal with uh, fatigue. And uh, so, let's be aware of uh, such, uh, uh, such measures and let's be aware that each one of us is susceptible to stress and fatigue and there are measures to cope with stress and fatigue. Uh, to sum up, uh, stress uh, and fatigue are not such simple topics to uh, sum it up in a 30-minute lesson. There is much more uh, to it and there is lots of research which is going on. I have tried to put, uh, collect the best of uh, such uh, uh, lessons and put it on my website so that we are aware of several other things, several other uh, facets of stress and fatigue so that we can keep ourselves uh, going uh, because uh, jobs by, by nature is stressful and we need to go very long way. So uh, that's what is the point. So I'm sure you enjoyed this small uh, introduction kind of lesson to stress and uh, there's lots to read and which I'm sure you are going to come across uh, over a period of time. Um, uh, once again, I, I, I will expect uh, some critical, uh, though I have been getting very critical uh, uh, reviews on some of my lessons, it's mainly on the quality of audio, etc., which is uh, kind of uh, beyond uh, uh, my help, uh, beyond, sorry, it's kind of beyond me uh, because Eventually, we will do it professionally and put uh, uh, in a professionally recorded uh, studios. Uh, what I will request is uh, critical, uh, critical comments on the content and what else could have been covered, etc, etc. So that's what uh, I would expect. Of course, one is aware of uh, and one is aware of the limitations of uh, uh, recording such lessons uh, in amateur fashion. Uh, but uh, one, uh, we, we promise that we will do it much more professionally in our, uh, uh, as we grow. Thanks once again for listening and uh, please feel to offer your comments and uh, 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 that way we feel very encouraged. Thank you.